everyone. Welcome back to Mom Minute. I hope you had a great holiday. Now for most of us, the new year means new beginnings and new goals. So I thought that this question would be a great one to talk about today. Chelsea asks, I am the worst at sticking to my new year's resolutions. How can I stick with them? So my first suggestion when you're setting goals is to write them down. For some reason, when you actually take a pen and put it to the paper and you write it down, it makes it a lot more formal and you're gonna think about it a little bit extra during the year. My second piece of advice would be to hang them in a visible location. So for me, when I write down my little list, I like to maybe even take it and kind of just put it on my mirror. So it's somewhere when I'm like brushing my teeth every day, I can see my little list of goals and review them in my mind every day. Have I worked on them today? Have I worked on them today? That kind of thing. Something that helps me when I set goals is to actually break my goals down into like a specific subtype. So I like to set myself a goal every year that's a physical goal, like maybe exercising more or eating more fruits and vegetables. I like to set a financial goal. Maybe it's paying off a car or making an extra payment towards a car or something that helps me financially. And then I also like to set a spiritual goal. That could be praying more or reading a book about Buddha or somebody else that inspires you. It doesn't necessarily have to be super religious, just something that makes you feel better about yourself. You also wanna make sure that you set goals that are realistic, right? That are manageable, that are bite-sized pieces. Now, if you set a goal at the beginning of the year to run eight marathons, I mean, that's a pretty intense goal and you're probably doomed to fail right off the get-go unless you're insane. So maybe start by saying, my goal this year, I'd really like to run more, is to run a 5K. That's a very tangible goal, it's a very realistic goal, and you're gonna hit it, and that's gonna be inspirational for you the next time you set goals to be able to know you can achieve them. It can also be helpful to take your goals and break them down into a monthly timetable. So again, if you're using the example of running maybe a half marathon that year, you might wanna make the monthly goal that you run 10 miles the first month and 15 miles the second month, or you know, whatever it is, two miles the first month and four miles the second month and kind of work up to it. But it gives you a little tangible piece that you're moving along down the road instead of just looking at the end result because that's a little overwhelming sometimes. I loved if you saw this episode of Modern Family, you can totally relate because uh, Phil had on his wall this chart that was like he wanted to elliptical to Canada that year. And so he had this little graph and he would move his little person up the chart. And I loved that. It was such a great visual representation for him on how to set a goal and achieve it in a very visual way. He like little moved his man every day, you know, up the little ladder to Canada. Great idea, do something like that. Another way you can help to ensure that you're gonna be successful is to get somebody else involved. It's very hard to keep yourself motivated all the time to hit your certain goals. So if you get somebody else involved, it's much easier. If you're going to be doing the running, get a friend to come and run with you and run the race with you even. And then you know, like if you're having a bad day and you really don't wanna go exercise, the friend can be there to call you and be like, hey, get out of bed, we're gonna go run. Something like that where you kind of tag team each other and keep each other motivated towards the end goals. Make sure you guys are setting achievable goals. I know you guys can do it. Good luck this year as you set your New Year's resolutions. Now, tell me what your New Year's resolutions are. I would love to hear. And if you have great tips that I've missed on how to stick to those goals, leave a comment below and let me know what they are. Be sure to tweet me at The Mom's View and we will see you guys next week. Bye guys. Mm -hmm.